Matt, you come out here, you come back, you get some redemption, new PB in the 400, just how do you feel? I feel great. Uh, 400 meter season opener, being able to go out and run with some talented competition and uh, be able to PB uh, early in the season, it means a lot and I'm excited for what the future has to hold. Yeah, with the PB so early on, you know, this is, you've ran here so many times as a bulldog, mm -hmm. but you're a pro now, so just tell me about how that transition's been going and uh, everything that comes with it. Yeah, it's been going well. Uh, training schedule's a little bit different. We uh, started a little bit later in October and got some really good base work in and then started doing speed work um, after the first meet here. So yeah, being able to get in speed work and build up and build up and um, just get better every week is the goal. That's why I told myself last week uh, I saw an improvement in my 300s. So I said as long as I get better by a little bit every week, by June I'll be really happy with where I'm at. And you're known as a sensation, not only the 400, but the 100, the 200, the long jump. But why? Why specialize in the 400 meters? Yeah, I think um, for outdoor, I mean indoor, I want to do the 400. I mean, they don't have the 200 on the professional circuit, so um, I haven't been running any 200 stuff. But come outdoor, you'll definitely see me um, more in the 200, getting in some work with the shorter sprints. And it's an Olympic year, 2024. Earlier this year, you said, no stone turn left unturned. Explain go. to me that quote. <laughs> yeah, I mean, to me, that just means going to practice every day um, with the attitude that I'm going to get better um, and just work, work hard so that when it's June, um, I'm there at Olympic trials. I know my best foot is put forward and I can be proud of what I'm about to put on the track. All right, Matt. Well, best of luck at USA's next week and keep killing it. Sweet. Thank you. Appreciate it.